This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. Okay guys, before we start this video, let's fly the F-35B one more time, including all wings. Okay guys, this was a really cool flight and I'm really excited about the results. So in, now we're going to start to build version number two, which will suit the JP engines 120 and we're going to reduce the weight by around approximately like four kilos. Um, so I will be working on that in this video. We're going to build an entire new lift fan. We're going to use the laser cutter to laser cut the wooden parts. And we're going to use foaming filaments from Colorfab to print more, even more lightweight. So I'm going to use a single wall uh, and four to five percent info. Also today, we uh, Natalie and Ingmar will join us. They will be continue working on the F35A version. Uh, they are going to start making the mold. So if you really are excited and you really want to know how we build the mold, so please watch this entire video. It's going to be epic. Okay guys, um, I'm going to start assembly the parts from JLC PCB. Uh, we're going to install the landing gears, assemble the landing gears fully. And uh, we're going to start building the nose gear section and uh, to see how strong it is. Uh, meanwhile, these are the separation molds. Uh, Ingmar and Natalie is going to cover it with gel coat, black gel coat. But guys, look at the F-25A. It's becoming really, really, really cool. Okay, let's go. Look at it, it is getting really awesome. The gel coat all dried up. And uh, today we're going to add some layers of glass fiber. Uh, also to the rudders. And when the glass fiber dries, we can flip them over and remove all the divider mold. Well, it looks quite stunning. Okay guys, this is how JLC PCB works. Uh, when you made your account, you can go to your files and uh, in this case we have built the main landing gear. Um, so you will get also 
you will yeah you can also 3d print your parts cnc machining and if you've got pcbs you can choose this tab so what you easily do is uh, upload your 3d model you will uh, see a review of your part uh, then you can choose which material normally i go to 70 75 grade aluminium uh, surface is as machined and this is all what is needed you can also choose your accuracy uh, how high the level how more do you pay of course and what you just simply do is ask for a quote and then you save it to uh, to your uh, bucket list um, actually JLC PCB is quite fast it just took me 1.5 weeks to wait for the parts and I'm really really happy with the JLC services so in the future I'm definitely going to use uh, JLC PCB for making more cool parts uh, for my F35 model. So JLC, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's go back into the build. here today uh, Joel will be here in a moment yesterday we put the um, the gel coat on the F35A and today we're gonna strengthen the the mold by putting the glass fiber onto the gel coat and then hopefully we have a nice upper upper mold that we can uh, make products out of of course we're gonna flip it around do the bottom at a later date but uh, in this video you will see how we uh, how we do the glass fiber uh, uh, part of making the mold so enjoy. Okay guys, I'm really happy how this weekend turned out. So we covered the mold from the fuselage completely, the upper side. Uh, we also started with the mold laminate, wet laminating or wet layup for the, for the rudders. So this need, all needs to dry. So thank you Natalie and Ingmar for this amazing weekend. Uh, we really, really jump started the project. And uh, yeah, we will save all the next content for next week's video. So also thank you JLC's PCB for sponsoring this video. The, the, the landing gears turns out very, very nicely. So also we will build this in into the F35A and into the F35B version. So if you want to see more of this kind of videos and you, and you don't want to miss any, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and turn at that notification bell. Okay guys, thanks you all for watching. Thanks. Thanks you all for what? Thanks. Thank you for watching. Never mind. Okay guys, see you next week. Bye bye.